of Fabian here from me, who is a public affairs and management consultant. Uh, more than that, thank you for joining us. Well, taking a look at this PDP development, I beg your pardon, not PDP, Nigeria governors from me, have all political parties in there, but uh, maybe I'll tell you why PDP just came out of my mouth. Morning anyway, and thank you again for joining us. From your perspective, looking at the entire scenario as it's playing out, what strikes you in all of this? Um, well, good morning. Good morning, Chamberlain, uh, Sulai, and uh, Neta. Um, first of all, let me appreciate you people for the good work you are doing. Uh, the good Lord will continue to strengthen you. Uh, back to your question. You know, Chamberlain, what is playing out is uh, the effect of the caliber of people our democracy ushered in from 1999 till date. You know, Governor's Forum, as it is, uh, supposed to be an assembly of governors where they meet or converge, you know, to engage themselves constructively. It's supposed to be a productive, collective, and collaborative engagement of governors. You know, a, a, a cross fertilization of ideas, where they share ideas, share information for their own good. But what do we see today? We see a governor's forum, very aggressive governor's forum, combatant ready. And they have nothing to offer to this country. And mind you, Chamberlain, Governor's Forum is a mere NGO. Anything that emanates from Governor's Forum has no force of law. Yes, but Dr. Kweme, if I can jump in there, uh, well, first of all, most of them, if not all, I don't have all those details now, are professionals in various fields. And, uh, but if you say what they do has no force of law, well, that may be the case. But we also do know that they take major decisions politically that affect the country, not just economically, almost in all areas. And so, I mean, who wouldn't take them seriously? Well... Well, Chamberlain, you see, you, 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 you remember that uh, I, at a certain time, the former governor of uh, Kwara State was the chairman of Nigerian Governors Forum. And you remember very well that he never used that position to insult anybody in spite of the fact that he had presidential ambition, he carried himself very well. Governor's Forum is supposed to be a, a place. In fact, they, they should have fitted in as a proper channel of advice for the, for the president and the federal government. I am not saying that they are not, uh, it's, it's not an important uh, forum. That's not what I'm saying. After all, they are governors of various states of the Federation. But what is playing out today, to me, is a manifestation that, after all, we don't have the best people as leaders in this country. Why do you say so? What, what have they done wrong because that makes you say so? Let me tell you why I have to say this. This is a time we are actually in a very trial period. A period of massive insecurity in Nigeria. A period the eastern part of this country is boiling. 
The president is doing everything possible to secure this country. What are we getting from the governors? Scrambling, fighting over a mere chairman of uh, an NGO. And let me tell you also, all this fighting, all this bickering, all this scheming, all this blackmailing is nothing but who gets what in 2015. Isn't that, that is that. Uh, Dr. Hekwame, isn't that why people are a little bit worried? And uh, they say perhaps uh, it looks like the executive also has a hand in all of this because 2015 is not uh, uh, just only for the governors. In any case, most of them will be uh, out of office by then. Well, well, Sulai, when you say executive has a hand in that, the governors are also executive. The governors are also executive. Uh, if you ask me whether the president has a hand in what is playing out, I will tell you an emphatic no. I don't think the president will bother himself about who becomes the chairman of Nigeria's Governors Forum. I don't think the president, in his busy schedule, will leave his work to worry about who becomes the chairman of an NGO. Why do you believe that? By the Hello? Uh, why do you say so? Because we have also heard a statement from uh, his uh, office that, well, he has no hand in this, but uh, now you are one other Nigerian who believes uh, that he doesn't have a hand in this. Perhaps maybe you should expect yeah, more on this. Yes, be yes, because I have to believe my president first. I have to give him the benefit of doubt. But don't forget, he's also the leader of the PDP. Apart from yes. being the president. Exactly, Chamberlain. He's the leader of PDP. But the governor's forum is not a PDP uh, uh, forum. The governor's forum is a forum for all the 36 state governors. If these 36 state governors, 36 strong men, could not select one person as their chairman. You can imagine what Nigerians are going through in the hands of these people. Yeah, but, but Dr. Hekwame, are you saying, because, I mean, you're also an eminent political scientist, are you saying that one political party will not or should not be concerned about what happens in another political party which could determine their party or uh, future? That's not what I'm saying, Chamberlain. That's, that's not what I'm saying, Chamberlain. Basically, you know, political parties are full of intrigues. Uh, all the political parties would want to, they, they, like PDP, for instance, would want to know what is happening in other political parties. The same way APC or CPC or ACN or whatever party they would definitely want to know what is happening in other parties. But the basic truth is that the, and the polity is being overheated because of 2015. That is, the, basic, that is the, the truth of the matter. The president has just done two years out of uh, four years. And two years is a lot of time to help Nigeria and Nigerians and if these distractions continue, then I don't know where we are heading to. Okay, Dr. Yakume, if, if I may come in here. Yes. Now, the report we had says there was a vote, and um, there was an election, and this is probably whether it was agreed on or not. What do you think, what implication does it have for our democracy if those who play a major role in the political scene will not accept an election, as simple as amongst 35 people. No, sir, I strongly believe that there was no proper election. Why because, do you believe that? Because I am a very keen observer of uh, political uh, uh, activities. And from what actually uh, I have observed 
in this past few days. You will recall that a list has been 